Well, you've made a correct choice, in my opinion, of picking up your AirPods Pros 2. So let me go and show you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use these brand new headphones that you went ahead and picked up. Now, if you're new to AirPods or if you're like a user of AirPods, but you're not familiar with AirPods Pros, these are some tremendous headphones for sure. And honestly, I think you could probably keep these for the next four or five years easy, as long as you keep them in good condition. Now, on the outside, this is very similar. If you've ever used any set of AirPods, like the AirPods 2s, the original AirPods, any type of other AirPods, the styling is pretty much the same way. So we have the casing on the front. Now, typically when your case is closed, you can't really interact with your AirPods. It's usually when you, you, you know, if you have your AirPods in the ears, that's a different story. But if you're, both your AirPods are in the case, there's not really too much you can do. You can charge them when they're in the case like this, but there's nothing really on the out. There's no screen or anything. Now, within here, you do have a little light, which is nice. So if you're charging your AirPods, you can go and see that little light indicate. If it's orange or if it's green, that typically will demonstrate to you that you know it's on or it's charging, which is really cool. Now, there's no buttons on the sides or the front of this thing. On the bottom, though, we have a little bit of a different setup. So now we have a little, you know, speaker grill, which is very interesting. So we, these speakers will basically let us, basically, if we're, essentially, if our AirPods are missing and we use the Find My application, they will go ahead and start buzzing here, and they'll basically make some noise so we can easily find them, which is cool. We have our lightning port here, which if you ever used any other iPhone charger, you can go and see them right there, which is cool. And on the back, nothing else is pretty much here except for this little, you know, reset button which essentially will you know put your art which can essentially put our airpods in pairing mode so if we were to open this case and we were to hold this button down we can go and put our airpods in pairing mode which we'll get into in a second and on the side right here we have a little lanyard little area where we can go put a lanyard in i don't know if you'd want to do it or not but you have that type of capability which is really cool and that kind of covers it up on the outside now flipping our airpods open that is when the case starts indicating to us that it's open so you see this green light here then we have the airpods inside of them now, you can go ahead and take your AirPods out from your case immediately, but if you haven't connected your AirPods yet to your iPhone, there's a really easy way to do this. All you wanna do is you just pretty much wanna bring your iPhone close to your set of AirPods like this, and you should see a little pop-up come up. Now, either it'll come up like this, or it'll come up as a connection button. So if I go ahead and if I hold this button on the back down, like I showed you earlier, the reset button, the case needs to be open. And if you hold that button down, there's a white light now. But when the white light starts blinking like this, we have now put our AirPods in pairing mode. Now, as long as our iPhones or our AirPods are next to, our, to each other, you should be able to see that little indicator at the bottom. And that should, and then you should be able to go ahead and see some sort of thing that comes up that says connect your AirPods or whatever. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you have an Android, like the Pixel 6, it's kind of the same process. So what we want to do is we want to make our way over to our settings application. So go and click on settings here. We want to go and click into Bluetooth, which is right up here under network, get into Bluetooth. We want to go into connected devices, pair new device. And with, you know, these headphones, we can do the same exact thing. So hold down the button on the back and it'll start blinking. And then we should be able to see our AirPods come up right here. And you just need to click on them and that will go and connect our AirPods to an Android phone too. So this button on the back is really made for pairing and it's a really good button. Now with the, now once they're connected, you are good to go. Now, if you want to put them in your ear with iPhones and I think with some Androids, they will automatically connect to your ear when they're ready. So this is really awesome. So open up your case and you should be able to. So here we have the little connect button. That's probably what it'll look like for you. And then you should be able to go through the normal setup. Now, if you ever want to play music, you can go and take your AirPods out of the case like this and you should be able to put them in your ear. Now, we'll put the case aside for now. There's a lot to look over for these specific AirPods themselves. Now, one thing I will tell you is, there's a lot going on here. So one, you have microphones, you have a button on this thing too, which some of you may not know about, but you have the earpiece as well. So these little ear tips is one of the things that come inside of the box. So if you look inside your AirPods box like this, you should be able to find this box. If you don't have it, it doesn't really matter. But if you wanna ever interchange your ear tips, what you can always do is you can go ahead and lift this thing up like this and you should be able to see this little portion come up. Now the way you can go ahead and take it off from this point is to go ahead and you kinda of have to grab it and kind of pry it off. You shouldn't grab this portion. You should try to grab as close as you can to the actual base tip right here and you should be able to go ahead and just pry it off like this. Again, it may take a little bit more force, it's kind of annoying, but at this point what you can do is go through your actual box itself within here, and you can go ahead and interchange these tips out. So if you like you know, this one, or you like this one more, or whichever one, you can go and take it out, and you can go and put this one instead. Now, again, for this case, I'm going to go ahead and just use the same one because I prefer the same ones, but in this case, what you wanna do here, if you wanna put the tip back on, 
is to find exactly where this tip you know lies at. So it's right over here. You want to go and line it up correctly. So you can see right here, you can go and line it up to exactly how it's placed here. And all you have to do is go ahead and just click it into place. Which it clicks right in. You can move it around and you can see it's locked into place. And now all you have to do is go and push this portion down just like so. And that's it. You've now replaced the tips. Now you can go and do it on both sides too if you really want to. But whichever way, you know, if you do it on one, you should definitely do it on the other one. But that kind of covers it up. Now on this side, if you go and look on the right side of the AirPod Pros, we do have a little button here. Now you can change this button out and change it within your iPhone settings, which I'll show you in a second. But that kind of covers it up on the AirPods. You know, these are very basic headphones. They have a lot of features built within, but a lot of the customizability is after they're in your ear and when you go on your iPhone. So in this case, I'll go ahead and place one in my ear right here, and you should be able to hear a little like a ding sound. So within these AirPods, there should be like a little ding sound that you hear, which is really cool. Now at this point, what you can do is make your way over to your iPhone, and if I go ahead and zoom out right here, you should be able to see a few things. Now up top, we saw our dynamic island, it gave us a notification. If you don't have it, you can always add a little battery widget right here, and you should also be able to see your AirPods right there, which is so cool. Now whenever you're playing songs or anything, you are pretty much good to go. So you can go on Spotify, you can play any songs that you want to, and they should go ahead and stream over to your specific AirPods. And that is all you have to do. If I play a song right here, I can go and hear it and that's it. Now if I go and swipe out, one of the cooler things we can do with our AirPods is go ahead and interchange and change our settings within our AirPods. So to do this, what we want to do is we want to hop inside of our settings application like this, we then can also see this little AirPods Pro toggle down here. So we can go and click there. If we don't see that, you can just click on Bluetooth. You can go and find your AirPods Pro right there, click the eye next to it, and you should be able to come into the same exact place if you just were to click here. So now if you're in this specific panel, what you can do is you can change up so many settings within your AirPod, it's not even funny. So what you can do here is you can go ahead and enable or disable noise cancellation or noise control. So here you can go and set on transparency mode. You can set on noise cancellation. So it says, please, you know, we have to put both AirPods in our ears, which I don't have right now, but you can go and turn it off if you want to. And that's it. I mean, it's a lot of cool stuff here. Transparency mode is cool. You can hear everything around you. You can also turn on noise cancellation, which is cool too. It kind of, you know, dampens noise around you too. So that's another really cool thing. Now, remember when I told you there's a little button on the side of your AirPods right here? Well, what we can do is we can go ahead and interchange and change that button. So if we press and hold AirPods on the left one, we can turn on like noise control, whatever. We can turn on Siri too. And on the right one, we can go and have it to do other things too. So you can always go and interchange them whichever way you want to. On top of that, you can turn on automatic ear detection, which I would highly recommend turning on. You can keep this as it always is. Personalized spatial audio is another cool feature within these AirPods, and it essentially will allow you to kind of enhance the spatial audio that you have within your phone, which is cool. Now you have microphone, I'd keep this on automatic and optimized battery charging. I'd recommend keeping on it automatic as well. And at the very bottom, you see your model name, model number, serial number, and all these other things at the bottom too. So that is those are pretty much the main ways of how to interchange and use your specific AirPods. Now at the very bottom, if you ever need to, you can always manually disconnect them and forget this device, which will basically unpair them from your iPhone. And that is pretty much exactly how to use your AirPods. If you have a 14 Pro, it's cool to see that little dynamic island thing come up at the bottom. But at its core, and that is how you use your AirPods Pros. Now there's lots of other things too. You know, there's going to be new features coming out for your AirPods as well. As long as you're updating your iPhone, you should be able to, you know, utilize those features that come out in the future. But that is it at its core. Again, you have things like wireless charging, you have Find My, which is cool. You have the little speakers at the bottom, specifically tailored for finding your AirPods, not actually playing songs or anything. But that is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.